Are you gonna be assisting me today, sir? Wow. <laughs> Do you see what this make my lips look like? Like, this is horrifying. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. Do you like my little ocean eyes I'm giving you today? They have little fishes on them. I just wanted to have fun doing my eye makeup today. I didn't mean for it to get this extravagant, but here we are. And I did not expect to be filming the video I am filming for you today. I went to film another video and I was trying to get some stuff on my makeup desk and I realized that um, I couldn't find anything because my makeup desk is a mess. And for some reason I keep ordering more lipstick even though I have so much lipstick already and I have completely run out of slots to put my lipstick and places to store them and my desk is just absolutely horrifying to look at. It's been about six months since my last declutter. I'd say it's time to do another one and I think a great place to start is with my lipstick collection. So if you wanna see me declutter my massive lipstick collection and hopefully regain some much needed space on my makeup desk, then I encourage you to please subscribe and keep on watching. This is coming at you right now. So uh, here is my makeup desk. It's a disaster. You would have no idea that I was a Virgo from looking at this desk. This is my Sagittarius moon. Are you gonna be assisting me today, sir? I think what we need to do is just take all of the lipsticks off of my desk and throw them on the bed and then go through them by category. Do you like that since I'm not in the frame, I'm giving you lots of hand motions? I'm actually right here. Hi guys, how's it going? All right, I guess stay tuned for a montage of me taking all the lipsticks off my desk. Wow, what a beautiful before and after. <laughs> I told you guys I'm just doing lipstick today, so I understand this is still a disaster, but all of the lipstick is gone. This is a good place to start. This is a good place to start. Self-affirmation. All right, let's get into... I don't even touch my desk and stuff is falling everywhere. All right, let's get into the sorting and decluttering part of this video. All right, so we got some little categories going on for you guys here. Well, here we have my bullet lipsticks, my clear glosses, my not clear glosses. Oh my God, there's so many my balms, my single lip liner, and my liquid lipsticks. All right, let's start with these liquid lipsticks because I'm excited to take these colored rain lipsticks out of the box. All right, so obviously I'm not gonna declutter these because I just got them, but these are a couple of liquid lipsticks from Colored Rain. Look at how beautiful this purple lipstick is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have a purple lipstick that I'm probably decluttering from my collection today, so I'm so excited to have this. Wow! Ooh, it smells nice too. Smells kind of sweet, kind of tropical. So beautiful. All right, let's unbox the other one. This is also a matte lip paint. A beautiful, like, ready orange. These are both in the sale section on Colored Rain's website, so they were only like $6. Wow, what a good deal. Wow. <laughs> Ah, look at the pigment on that red, that is so beautiful. I prefer more orangey reds to like pinky reds. I just think it looks better on me. I don't know, I love orange, what can I say? These are super beautiful. I'm definitely keeping these two lipsticks because they're new, that would be really silly to not keep them. I'm covered in this. This is the wor- this is- ugh, this is the world's messiest lipstick. Maybelline, try again. The applicator on this sucks. It's flat and it takes out way too much product. The lipstick itself doesn't go on fully opaque. You have to like layer it up a lot. And so I usually just, I use this as like a transformational color to make other lipsticks more orange. But I think at this point, it's over two years old. It's probably expired. It's super messy. It's all over my hands. And I just, I have to say goodbye to this because it's, it's a hassle. This lipstick is from ColourPop. It's an ultra blotted lip um, and it's in the shade Oh Hi There. I really love like pinks like this. My only issue with this is that kind of like the Maybelline one, I mean, I know it's ultra blotted so it's not supposed to go on fully opaque, but it goes on kind of like streaky. Let me see if I can demo it. Yeah, see it's like already super streaky and I know it's supposed to be blotted, but it just kind of like, cause then you blot it, you try to like dab it off and then it goes on patchy. I don't know, I just don't think this is it. I am curious to keep trying their ultra blotted collection because I like the idea of it, but the formula, at least with this color, is not good. And I have a bullet lipstick in this exact color that is much more user friendly. So this is going away. <sighs> I have such an emotional connection to these Sephora lipsticks. 
This one I stole from my friend Hannah in the year 2017, which means this is over three years old, and I don't know how long she had it for. So this is clearly very old. I've also been scraping the tube. I don't know if you can see the side. There's like nothing in here, so. Although I am sad, I will have to say goodbye to this. And this purple lipstick is the one I was talking about trying to get a replacement for with this colored rain one. And they're actually not totally the same. I think the colored rain one is a little more vibrant. Oh, way more vibrant. Wow, look at the difference between those. This is dusty and this is vibrant. I still had such a good time wearing this dusty purple lip, but I, I think this purple is better and this is probably old, so I'm gonna get rid of it. All right, we got, a, we got a couple more here. I got a rapid fire through so this video is not a million years long. This is a red liquid lipstick. I don't need it anymore. It's from ColourPop, it's in the shade Creeper. It's really, really dry and it's really hard to apply, but I just got this colored rain one and I feel like, yeah, see this is more of a true red and this is more of an orangey red and I prefer an orangey red so I don't really need this anymore and like I said this is super drying and it's also really old so get rid of that. This is a lip paint from Tarte. I got in a little kit that my friend got me for Christmas a few years ago. This color I feel like is 2016 in a nutshell. Tell me that's not 2016 in a color, that like mauve taupey color. I don't wear it often, but I do wear it sometimes. The only thing is, is it's kind of similar to this liquid lipstick from Makeup Shayla X ColourPop in the shade Slow Down, but this is a little warmer. Let's swatch them right next to each other. Why not? The video's already really long. They're like indistinguishable. I'm so embarrassed that I've kept both of these, except this one's a little peachier, and that's when I gravitate towards more, so I'm gonna keep the Makeup Shayla one and I'm gonna say goodbye to this Tarte one. All right, moving on to my bullet lipstick. So, I told you guys that Maybelline Matte Liquid Lipstick gets on everything. I'm gonna have to wipe this off, but I guess we'll start with that first. This is Uno Mas from ColourPop. It's in their Luxe Lipstick Formula, which is like a cream satin formula. I like this a lot because it's a nice like peachy nude, which you know I love a peachy nude. I also feel like I never wear it. I'm not the hugest fan of this formula. That's the thing. I'm not the hugest fan of bullet lipsticks in general just because like, I'm such a, a gloss and go type of gal, or I'm a very bold lip type of gal. I have like no in between. I don't often like stuff like this. I feel like it breaks apart so much at like the butthole part of the lip that I don't love how that looks. Uh, but I do love a peachy nude, so it's gonna stick around a little longer. Something that I'm gonna get rid of that I feel like will shock the world, and I feel like the media is gonna be swarming around my apartment afterwards, but this is What's Your Sign from ColourPop, and clearly, She's loved. You know once a lipstick gets to like this position that you love it a lot. I used to love this color so much, but now I kind of feel like, why? I mean, it's a beautiful nude, but like, is it not identical to like a bunch of other stuff that I already have? It's actually, this color is identical to the gloss that I was wearing at the beginning of this video, and I reach for the gloss so much more than I reach for this. Like I said, I don't love this formula. You know what, I take it back. I'm gonna get rid of both of these. Moving on to another bullet lipstick. Such a beautiful color. That's the one that I was comparing to this ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip. They are the same exact color, but this formula is just a thousand times better. This is like, I think it's supposed to be matte, but it's a very comfortable matte. It's definitely not satin, but it's like very creamy. Look at that glide. It's from Illamasqua. Sorry I didn't say the brand. It's just a gorgeous color. I really feel like I'm gonna be wearing this a lot this summer. I think it pairs so well with like a nice bold black winged liner, and then you wanna add a little pop of color on the lips. I just think it's a really beautiful color. I'm definitely gonna keep it. Moving on to my lipstick from the lip bar. I just got this. Of course I'm not gonna get rid of it. It's so beautiful. The only metallic lipstick I have ever loved. It's so pretty. It's such a beautiful nude. It's in the shade Goals. It's kind of sheer. It looks kind of sheer on the arm. I'm gonna put it on. I'm sorry, I have to put it on. So beautiful. It's like a red nude. It's kind of coppery. It's got a little bit of a copperiness to it. And it's metallic, but it's nothing like abrasive. It's not like an 80s metallic or anything. I just think it's so pretty. It's so comfortable. The lip bar clearly has their lipstick formula down to a science because it is so unbelievably comfortable. It's like, feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Definitely check out the lip bar's lipstick. It's in the name, the lip bar. They clearly know everything about lips and you guys should check them out. I'm definitely keeping this. Okay, I actually technically decluttered this Pat McGrath lipstick the last time I did a lipstick declutter but 
I had such an attachment to like getting this and I got such a good deal on this. These are normally $40. I got it for $7 on Cyber Monday. Unbelievable deal. So I kind of felt like I really didn't want to declutter it. When I first tried it, I just thought this was like a bad formula. I thought it was way too matte, way too drying, made my lips look crusty. I did not like it. Well, I tried it again in the summertime and had a totally different reaction. I think it was just too cold. I think my lips were just way too chapped before because now it's like, uh, so beautiful. It's such a beautiful color. It goes on so creamy. Look at that, effortless. And what a beautiful color. Gorgeous, I love it so much. Another very, like the Illamasqua one, very, very comfortable matte. Definitely keeping this. All right, I got my last two here. This is another one of the ColourPop Lux lipsticks, but this isn't a matte formula. And I really liked this at the time because I needed like a ready orange lipstick, but now I just got that red orange liquid lipstick. So do I still need this? But I don't know how the one from Color Green wears yet. So maybe I'll still want to keep this for a little while longer just in case that one's too matte and I want to like soften it up Cream it up a little bit. Sorry for saying cream it up. That sounded gross I'm gonna keep this one a little bit longer because I do like the matte formula better than the satin formula and it is a really beautiful color. If the liquid lipstick works out, I will probably get rid of this, but for now, I'm gonna keep it. Okay, last of the bullet lipsticks. I was fully ready to declutter this up until a couple weeks ago. This is Baddest Beige from Maybelline. It's like one of their ultra shiny lipsticks. I was totally ready to declutter it, and then I found myself on Fenty's website obsessing over their new high shine lipsticks, and I was like, wait a minute, don't I have something that is like exactly that? We're gonna give it one final try today. I feel like it could be a dupe for the Fenty ones, which is why I feel like I have to keep it, but if it doesn't look good, then we'll get rid of it. Mm, mm. It's like on camera, I feel like from you guys' perspective, you might be like, oh, okay, yeah, that looks fine. But in the mirror, it just kind of like really breaks apart in the middle. I don't know. I feel like I would put this on for a video, but not wear it out in public. Forget about it, we're not keeping it. All right, that's the end of my bullet lipstick, so let's wash my arm again and then move on to the next category. All right, the next category is really small, so this will be really easy. It's my clear lip glosses. <laughs> these three are all from Broadway Vita Lips. Um, I got these on Amazon. I'm not totally clear on the brand. I think it's from Kiss. I have three different scents. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite clear lip glosses, and you can get three of them for like $5 on Amazon. It's such a good deal. They're super, super high shine. They're super hydrating. They last like a really, really long time and they all smell so good. The coconut one is my favorite because it doesn't smell like straight up coconut. It smells like butter. And look at that shine, so juicy. Oh, I love them so much. I'm gonna be getting rid of this one from ColourPop though. This is from their So Juicy line and I did like it. It was like a little plumping. It smells like mint chip ice cream, which I love, but do you see how cloudy it got? Ooh, that's kind of gross, right? I mean, look at these side by side. Yeah, I think this is expired. I'm not sure I would buy this from ColourPop again. I don't think the shine lasts as long as these do. And this is three for five dollars, but I think this is like one for seven dollars. So, I don't know where that landed. I thought that would look cool if I threw it out of the video. I hope that it did, but okay. So that's the, that's the end of my clear glosses category. Let's move on to not clear glosses. So this is a large category. Um, <laughs> so here we have my NYX butter glosses. These are a Jackie Ina recommendation. Does Jackie ever lead us astray? No, she doesn't. And these are both incredible. I love these so much. I mentioned it in my lip gloss video, but these taught me that lip glosses did not have to be clear. I know, I had no idea before. I thought that all lip glosses had to be clear, but these are totally opaque. Like they're very creamy, but there's no sparkle in them and they give your lips like a color. I was wearing this at the beginning of the video. This is a shade Madeline. I also have the shade Fortune Cookie. I like to put this in the center to add like a little dimension to make my lips look extra, extra juicy. I love them so much. They smell like candy. I'm never getting rid of them until they expire, in which case I will buy more. All right, here we have my, my Fenty Gloss Bomb. She has seen better days. She's covered in cat hairs and she is very sticky. That is because I have had her for over two years at this point, which means she's probably expired and I am gonna order a new one soon because it is like my favorite lip gloss of all time. It's just so beautiful. It's the most beautiful color. This is not fully opaque, but it gives your lips a color. Like it makes them so peachy and juicy. It has beautiful sparkles. I don't like the smell. The smell is a little weird. The taste is a little funny, 
but it just makes your lips look so good. And it did last me like a really, really long time. Clearly I've had it for over two years and I wasn't able to finish it. This will be decluttered once I get a new one because I would not advise using a two plus year old lip gloss, but I am gonna be keeping it for now. Full disclosure. All right, this is from Wet n Wild. This is a high shine liquid lipstick, or I think it's a high shine lipstick. It's from Wet n Wild and stinks really stinks it smells bad and I just don't know why I thought I wanted this color because it's very much like concealer lips I think my thought was that it would add dimension kind of like what my NYX butter gloss does except the difference is my NYX butter gloss smells way better and is much more comfortable do you see what this makes my lips look like like this is horrifying the applicator is not as nice as the NYX one there's no reason for me to keep this wow I'm so glad I put it on my lips I'm getting rid of it <laughs> it's the world's most beautiful gloss it's from colored rain it's in the shade tropical vibes I'm obsessed with it how many lipsticks will I put on in this video somebody count look at this like what? It's so pretty. It's so duochrome-y. It's like a greeny, peachy gold. It's It blew my mind the first time I put this on. I love how it catches the light. It smells good. The formula is so, so comfortable. It wears really well. It never gives me like that line that you sometimes get with lip glosses. Oh, I hate that line. That's so gross. It's a beautiful color. It's outstanding, show-stopping, never the same. We love it so much. Clearly, I'm not getting rid of it. All right, these two lip glosses from Jewel Smith Beauty. I got these in an Ipsy bag back when I used to have an Ipsy subscription like a year ago. And this shade is incredible. This is the shade Serene Queen. She is a beautiful pink, very glittery gloss, very dimensional. I don't like the applicator. It's too small. But I do wear this whenever I want like a pinky lip. We'll definitely be keeping this shade. I don't care too much for this shade though. This is a more metallic-y shade, whereas this is like very much like a sheer like kind of glittery pink gloss. And this is kind of like a peachy metallic-y gloss. I just don't like it as much. I don't ever reach for it. <laughs> wow, look at my arm. I did a really bad job wiping them off before. Please don't judge. But yeah, it's just like... Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of metallics. The only metallic lipstick I have ever genuinely liked is that one from the lip bar I showed you earlier. And this just doesn't really compare to that. I never reach for it. They're overpriced. These are like $18 each regular price. I'll probably never buy either of them again. But I am going to finish using up this one. But this one is... The other, I, I threw it on my bed. I'm getting rid of the other one. I don't know why I did that. All right, lip balms. It's the Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Balm in the shade slash flavor pineapple papaya. This is exactly like Lip Smackers. It smells amazing, feels really nice and juicy and hydrating. Has a little bit of a peachy tint to it, but really nothing detectable on the lips, but I mean, I really just like it for the nostalgia and for the scent, so of course I'm gonna keep it. Hmm, I knew these were gonna be a tough decision. These are from ColourPop, it's their Just a Tints. They're like a tinted lip balm. I was so excited when these first came out. I got the cherry set. You can see they're kind of complementary colors. I don't know, I just feel like I'm kind of over like chubby sticks like these. Like I always find myself, if I do ever apply it, I like put it on my finger first and then I go put it on. That way I get a more even application because if I try to go in with just this, like on the lips, I don't know, it just like gives a very uneven application. I feel like I have to go rub it out to make it look more like just a tint. I feel like this is not just a tint. It's saying it's just a tint, but really it just kind of like deposits pigment in various areas and then you have to go in like this a bunch afterwards. These are a lot of effort. Ugh, I might keep this one just because this red, wow, find a clear spot. This red is beautiful. It's like truly a brick red. So I'm probably gonna keep this one just because the color is so beautiful. I'm like more willing to make this work. But this one's just like another peachy lipstick. And how many peachy lipsticks have I gone through today? Only a million, so I don't need that anymore. My Kush Lip Balm from Milk Makeup. I also just got this. It's so beautiful. This is like a beautiful glittery balm. It was a special Pride Month edition, so the shade is called Shine. It came in beautiful rainbow packaging, and all of the proceeds from this lip balm went to the Center NYC, which is a center for LGBTQ plus people in New York City, which I think is amazing. And wait till you see how beautiful it is. Is it a lot of glitter? Yeah, but I love it and it's purple glitter, which is the best kind of glitter. So I'm obsessed with it. I will probably never, ever, 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 ever get rid of this. And it's really comfortable too. It's a nice smell. 
kind of like Fruit Loops mixed with herbs. So I like both of those things. That's fine with me. And I just think it's really, really pretty. All right, and with that, we have reached the end of the video. I'm keeping 19 lip products, getting rid of 16. Somebody do the math on that. What is that, like 46%? Probably something close to that. I'd say that's very successful for me because I do wear a lot of lip products. I love to switch things up. I don't have like a go-to lip that I wear every day. I really do like to mix things up. It is mostly gloss, but I also like to experiment with bold colors. And you know what? I genuinely love everything that I'm keeping today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. What are you waiting for? You made it to the end of the video. That never happens. I've seen the analytics. I know nobody's here right now, but if you happen to be here, why the heck don't you just subscribe? You clearly like me enough to make it to the end of the video. You're so sweet. Thank you so much, um, but please subscribe. I would love to have you. Also check the description for lots of Black Lives Matter resources, including petitions to sign, places to donate, and ways to help protesters. Please be sure that you're educating yourself in order to be the best ally that you can be. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.